Whale Tail present. What is DNA transcription? DNA transcription is a stage in the process of making proteins from our DNA. This lesson involves a few vocab such as promoter, terminator, gene strand, template strand, sense strand, anti sense strand, adenine, thymine, guanine, cytosine, uracil, RNA polymerase, 5 prime cap, 3 prime poly A tail, RNA splicing, and spliceosome. Before your mind blows up, let's start with the important things that you need to know about DNA. DNA has a double helix structure, but in this video, I've made it straight, so it will be easier for you to understand. The two strands are anti-parallel to each other. Anti-parallel means that it does parallel, but it goes in opposite direction. DNA stores information by using the four chemical bases. The bases pairs up with each other adenine with thymine and cytosine with guanine. We indicate the direction of DNA by looking at the both ends of the strand. There are 5 prime end and 3 prime end. The synthesis of nucleic acids can only happen in the direction of 5 prime to 3 prime. So let's say that the upper one is 5 prime and 3 prime. The bottom one will be 3 prime and 5 prime. Why? Because DNA is anti-parallel. Before we begin the DNA transcription, we need to know that DNA has a promoter region and terminator region. The transcription will begin at the promoter region and it will end at the terminator region. And there is an enzyme called RNA polymerase which is responsible for consulting the RNA chains. The RNA polymerase will bind to the promoter region, moves down and unzips the DNA strand. As the RNA polymerase moves down the strand, it makes new pre-mRNA strand from the DNA template. The strand that makes pre-mRNA is called template strand, or sometimes we call it anti-sense strand. Another strand that doesn't do anything is called gene strand or sense strand. Now, let's take a look inside the RNA polymerase. First, the RNA polymerase attaches to the promoter region. RNA polymerase will match the bases with the base pair. But remember, RNA doesn't have thymine base, but it has uracil instead. So adenine will bind with uracil. Once the RNA polymerase reaches the terminator region, it will unbind the DNA strand and now we get a pre-mRNA. The reason why we call it pre-mRNA is because we can't actually use it for making proteins yet. It needs to be modified before that. We will go through the process called RNA splicing. Sadly, in the nucleus, there are many enzymes that can degrade or destroy our pre-mRNA. So we need to protect it from that. The first component is called 5' prime cap. It is a guanosine triphosphate that made of 7-methyl guanosine and the triphosphate bridge attaches to the 5' prime end of the mRNA strand. The 7-methyl guanosine is just a guanine that binds with a methyl group. The 5' prime cap will attach to the 5' prime end of the mRNA strand. And the second one is called poly A tail. It's just a sequence of repeating adenine base, which is about 150 to 250 A in it. This poly A tail will attach to the 3' prime end of the mRNA, but it's still not ready for making proteins. mRNA has areas called exons and introns. The exon is what we want. It is a coding sequence which can be used in protein translation. And the intron is a non-coding sequence. It cannot be used for protein translation. So we need to get rid of it. And now we need a spliceosome. Spliceosome is a complex molecule that we will use for cutting the introns. It will bind to the intron and then cut it out. And the left over are only the exons. Now our mRNA is ready for his job. 